Uh, good morning children. Today I'll be teaching you the poem The Highway Man. I'm sure you'll enjoy this poem written by Alfred Noyes. And in this poem you'll get to know how this highway man he was shot dead only because he came to meet his friend and a wonderful poem with lots of figure of speech you'll enjoy this poem and as i teach this poem listen to it very careful the wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees the moon was a ghostly gallon tossed upon the cloudy seas the road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor and the highwayman came riding 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 the highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. He had a French cocked hat on his forehead, a bunch of lace at his chin, a coat of the claret velvet and breeches of brown doe skin. They fitted him with never a wrinkle. His boots were up to the thigh, and he rode with a jewel twinkle. His pistol butts a twinkle, his rapier hilt a twinkle under the jewel sky. Over the cobbles he clattered and clashed in the dark in yard. He tapped with his whip on the shutters, but all was locked and barred. He whistled a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there but the landlord's black-eyed daughter. Bess, the landlord's daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot into her long black hair. And dark in the dark old inn yard, a stable wicked crack creaked, where Tim the ostler listened. His face was white and peaked. His eyes were hollows of madness. His hair like hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red-lipped daughter. Dumb as a dog he listened, and he heard the robber say, One kiss, my bonny sweetheart, I am after a prize tonight. But I shall be back with a yellow gold before the morning light. Yet, if they press me sharply and hurry me through the day, then look for me by moonlight. Watch for me by moonlight. I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell should bar the way. He rose upright in the stirrups. He scarce could reach his hand, but she loosened her hair in the casement. His face burned like a brand as the black casket of perfume came tumbling over his breast and he kissed its waves in the moonlight. Oh, sweet black waves in the moonlight, 
Then he tucked at his rein in the moonlight and galloped away to the west. He did not come in the dawning. He did not come at noon. And out of the tawny sunset, before the rise of the moon, when the road was a gypsy's ribbon, looping the purple mold, a red coat troop came, marching, marching, marching. King George's men came, marching up to the old inn door. They said no word to the landlord. They drank his ale instead. But they gagged his daughter and bound her to the foot of a narrow bed. Two of them knelt at a casement with muskets at their side. There was death at every window and hell at one dark window. For Bess could see through her casement the road that he would ride. They had tied her up to attention with many a sniggering chest. They had bound a musket beside her with a barrel beneath her breast. Now keep good watch and they kissed her. She heard the doomed man say, Look for me by moonlight. Watch for me by moonlight. I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell should bar the way. She twisted her hands behind her, but all the knots held good. She reached her hands till her fingers were wet with sweat of blood. They stretched and strained in the darkness, and the hours crawled by like years. Till now on the stroke of midnight, cold on the stroke of midnight, the tip of one finger touched it, the trigger at least was hers. The tip of one finger touched it, she strove no more for the rest. Up she stood up to attention, with the muscle beneath her breast, she would not risk their hearing. She would not strive again, for the road lay bare in the moonlight, blank and bare in the moonlight, and the blood of her veins in the moonlight dropped to her lover, love's refrain. Had they heard it? The horse hoofs ringing clear, trot, 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 in the distance, were they deaf? that they did not fear. Down the ribbon of moonlight, over the brown of the hill, the highwayman came, riding, riding, riding. The red coat looked to their priming. She stood up straight and still. Trot, trot, in the frosty silence. Trot, trot, in the echoing night, nearer he came and nearer, her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment. He came and nearer, her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment. She drew one last breath. Then her finger moved in the moonlight. Her musket shattered the moonlight shattered her breast in the moonlight and warned him with her death. He turned his spur to the west. He did not know who stood, bowed with her head over the musket, drenched with her own red blood. Not till the dawn he heard it, his face grew grey to hear. How best the landlord's daughter, the landlord's black-eyed daughter, had washed for her love in the moonlight and died in the darkness there. Back he spurred in like a madman, shouting a curse in the sky, with the wide road smoking behind him and his rapier brandished high. 
blood red were his pearls in the golden noon wine red was his velvet coat when they shot him down on the highway down like a dog on the highway and he lay in his blood on the highway with a bunch of lace at his throat and still on a winter's night they say when the wind is in the trees when the moon is a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas when the road is a ribbon of moonlight over the purple mole a highway man comes riding 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 thank you now children did you notice how sounding words are used in this poem which figure of speech is this we call it onomatopoeia the sounding words in english please write down so that you understand what figures of speech has been used in this poem lot of similes and metaphors were used identify them 